Welcome back to Logic 101. I'm William Spaniel, and this lecture is on the distribution replacement rule. There are two versions of distribution. We're going to cover them both, but fortunately they are quite simple. So let's get to it and hopefully do this fairly quickly. Imagine that we have the expression P and Q or R, where as always, P, Q, and R can be simple or compound sentences. Doesn't matter. Well, if we think long and hard about what this actually means, knowing that we know what conjunctions are, disjunctions are, and we know how to handle our order of operations using parentheses, then we should be able to establish the fact that P must be true because it's on the left side of the conjunction. And notice that Q or R is on the right side of the disjunction, so that means Q or R must be true as well. And the disjunction Q or R means that Q is true, R is true, or both Q and R are true. And so if we combine those two pieces of information together, that means that P and Q could be true, P and R could be true, or P, Q, and R, all three of them could be true. And when you go through the distribution replacement rule, we can actually rewrite this in a way that distributes the conjunction over the disjunction. So notice that on the left side of the parentheses, if you take the P and the conjunction and put it on the inside of the parentheses in front of the Q, then you get P and Q. And if you do the same thing, if you take P and the conjunction and move it just to the right of the disjunction, you get P and R. And combining those things together, you get what this is essentially the right side of the biconditional. You get P and Q or P and R. So actually, this version of the distribution rule is going to be useful in taking what we see on the right and moving it to the left. Because if you look at what's on the right, you might not be able to deduce the fact very simply that P must be true in that instance. But on the left side of the biconditional, it should be very obvious because that P is by itself on the left side of a conjunction. So we know by looking at the left side very easily that P must be true. So for the most part, we're going to be taking what is on the right side of the biconditional and moving it over to what is looks like on the left side of the biconditional. Now, distribution works in the same way if we flip-flop the conjunction with the disjunction. So look at that left side of the biconditional. Notice that we have P and Q or R. And now I'm going to switch this to P or Q and R. We can do the same distribution here. This is why this is called the distribution replacement rule. We can distribute the P and the disjunction into the inside of the parentheses. So if we put the P and the disjunction immediately on the inside, then we have P or Q. And if we do the same thing just to the right of the conjunction, we have P or R. And so writing that out, we have the right side of the biconditional, which is P or Q and P or R. This version of distribution is actually useful starting on the left side and converting it to the right side. This is, again, because of where the conjunction lies. On the conjunction, on the right side, we know that both P or Q must be true as well as P or R must be true. So you can think about each one of those things in isolation. So you can think of just the fact that P or Q must be true by what you see on the right side of the biconditional. And you also can think about how P or R must be true, whereas that's not so apparent and evident on the left side of the biconditional. So with this version of distribution, we're going to be mostly focusing on the usefulness of the right side of the biconditional, taking the left side of the biconditional and converting it into the right side. In any case, that is distribution for you. You now know how to both distribute things inside of parentheses and, of course, going from right to left, how to undistribute things within parentheses. It's a useful replacement rule to know. And that wraps up this discussion of this replacement rule. Join me next time when we continue our discussion of other replacement rules. Take care.